Hello, welcome back to Talking Sense. I'm Ben. Today uh, it's freaking freezing. It's like two degrees outside. It's about three degrees inside. Um, so I thought, what better time but to talk about zoologist squid, which is essentially an, a kind of an aquatic kind of. So it's not really the best time, but anyway, this is what we're really looking at today. Okay, so zero is just squid. You it, you know it, it kind of conjures up the idea that it's an aquatic. Uh, the box is blue, which will you know blue in fragrance generally tends to mean that kind of cool kind of aquaticy kind of vibe. Um, but it's actually not. So uh, you know the the weather. You might be surprised actually is a, a bit more of a colder weather fragrance than it, it lets on. Um, I actually only bought it recently. There was a ton of hype when it came out, um, and I, I pretty much avoided it. Eventually, I got around to it because I was I was kind of on board with the hype. Love squid. I, I love the idea of it. It's brilliant, you know. Um, and the notes sounded interesting. So the notes are top pink pepper, solar salicylate, incense. Heart notes are black ink accord, salty accord, and a pop and axe. And base notes are ambergris, benzoid, and musk. So it's actually not really that aquatic if you think about it. It's actually much more resinous, uh, much more incense y. Um, it's got the salt accord, I guess. Um, but, but otherwise, and, and solar salicylate is a, is a kind of watery green accord. So um, you, tend, you tend to put it with florals most of the time. Um, so it, it's, um, you know, it's got elements of that in it. Um, let's give it a spray and see what I think. Oh, the, the, the juice is actually amazing. Um, I don't know if you can really see the colour, but it's a really cool, like, dark blue colour. Um, so I, I really like all that. Um, but, you know, what's it come to? When it, when it was it actually smell like? Uh, and, and this is where things are going to get a bit ugly, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah. The opening, to me, is kind of a car crash. I, I, it, it, it's all right. I quite like it. It's definitely interesting. It, it, it smells um, sweet, slightly sweet, slightly smoky, um, and, and very much like petrol. Uh, so you get this kind of sweet smoky petrol smell a, a lot of people uh, I, I read reviews of this and, and there were a few people that said it smelled fishy I, I really don't get that for the life of this fragrance I don't think it's fishy in the least in fact I would say I don't even think it's very aquatic I, I don't think there's this is pretty landlocked like it, it's there's no fish whatsoever so I don't know where they're coming with that I mean I know fragrances are, are subjective um, but but I, I do wonder how much of that is just association because it, it, it's really not fishy. Um, so there's there's barely aquatic vibes with this. Um, but otherwise, that that petrol smell is is going now. Um, and instead, you're starting to get a poponax um, coming out. Um, it, and see, so which is quite a resinous, plasticky smell. Um, for anyone interested, this is quite a large lump of a poponax, um, which is say it's a resin. Um, when you smell like raw poponax like this, it, it smells very resinous, like a slightly plastic, um, and that is probably the crux of this review and why I dislike this fragrance because I do dislike this fragrance. I really like Zoologist. I love Victor. I think he's a very personable guy. I've spoken to him. He's a cracking bloke. I really like his idea with Zoologist but I fucking hate this fragrance and I really think it smells bad. Um, and, and here's why. So the opening doesn't really smell great. It, it smells like a slight sweet, smoked, resinous plastic. And the plastic is definitely coming from the apoponax and the benzoin. 
uh, or benzoin. Uh, that that benzoin is quite a plasticky sweet smell already. Uh, Popanax is also quite plasticky. You put the two together, all you're getting is this chemical plastic smell. Um, and, and that is the heart of this fragrance for me. There, there is other stuff going on. So you've got this kind of smoke, uh, but it's very gentle. Slightly dark kind of frankincense kind of vibe in there somewhere. Um, and in the heart, right in the middle of that, you just got this big apoponax and benzoin. And that later, it is going to develop a, a touch and you're going to get some salt come out. Quite a lot of salt comes out. It does get really salty. Um, and that just is worse because then you're getting this kind of like sweet, plasticky, burning plastic and salt smell. Um, and it, like I say, I, I really think it smells like a fucking chemical car crash. I think it smells like a cheap chemical mess to me. Um, I really, really, really dislike it. Uh, I, I think it has no saving grace. Um, I think it's just a bad, cheap smelling fragrance. And for 150 quid, I think that's a joke. I think this is by far the worst zoologist I've smelt, but not because some of the zoologists are just not your thing or whatever. This is a cheap, nasty fragrance, as far as I'm concerned. I really think, it, I mean, it might not be, it might be, you know, really well put together or whatever, but it smells to me like a cheap, nasty fragrance. It smells not even like a perfume. It, it smells like a toilet block or something, like like one of those, you know, like if, like urinal cake. It, it's, it doesn't at all smell good. Um, it, it, but I should explain that. So it, you've got this like quite obvious perfumey kind of like a poponax in there and, and that's very resinous. Um, and then you've got benzoin, which is a very resinous kind of sweet vanilla kind of vibe uh, or not really vanilla, but it but it is a sweet creamy sort of vanillic kind of thing, but, it, but it's very resinous as well. So there's two resins there, and um, both of them are quite plasticky smelling. At the same time, you've got this kind of slight salty aquatic vibe, and that lends it a bit of a chemical feel. So then you mash those two things together, you've got this like quite chemically plastic, and that's what it smells like for the duration of the fragrance. Slightly sweet, slightly musky very very cheap chemical car crash that's what it smells like like it has moments where i smell it and i think this is okay um in the late dry down gets a bit better um but the opening is, is not very nice i don't think it's very defined and it smells a bit like a chemical car crash um the mid to, like kind of heart of the fragrance it smells overtly like burning plastic with the apoponax overdose um, and benzoin and then you add salt to that and it just gets even more unpleasant and the dry down um, is just okay it's fine but the only reason I really think it's fine is because it smells like the other two hours that I've spent wearing it but so toned down that I barely catch whiffs of it and it just smells slightly sweet musk and then you think, oh, that's all right, that's fine. You know, it, that, that's the best this fragrance has to offer me. Um, Say, so I know this thing's a subjective, I know this got a lot of hype, I know people really enjoy it, but for me, this is fucking trash. It smells really bad, it, um, it really does. And it's not that it smells bad, I don't, I don't you know, I review a lot of stuff on this channel and there are things that I smell that I don't particularly like. Or not that I don't particularly like, but that I know are just not my thing. But I try and talk about them subjectively and say, you know, it smells good or whatever. With this, it's not that it's subjectively not my thing because, I mean, as you'll really know, I, I like aquatics um, and I like sea and salt and ocean smells. Um, this, to me, doesn't really smell like the ocean. It, it does have 
a, a salty aquatic element to it but if you're gonna say it smells like the ocean it's super clean like a super clean ocean smell you could say there is a salt water in there um, but it's not the ocean it is really clean um, but yeah like I say I try and be subjective about this stuff um, uh, obje objective rather um, and, and to me objectively speaking this smells like cheap trash um, it, it, it really does um, I, I, I really wish it didn't like you know I, I paid money for it I, I, I would like this to be on my shelf because it would match my other zoologists I really like zoologists I really wanted squid to be good um, sadly this is not it uh, um, for me it smells like it's got one foot in the mainstream with this kind of blue aquatic and one foot in a zoologist and with it being quite conceptual and artistic and really all it's done is just it's just doing the splits and it's nuts that's hanging out for someone to come along and punch it it's it's really a piss poor fragrance in my opinion and the fact that it's so expensive is, is a bit of a joke um, like is it doesn't smell expensive it, it I feel like when I'm wearing it and, th and this is to me probably the most damning thing I'm gonna say about it is I feel like when I'm wearing this I feel like I'm wearing a cheap fragrance um, and I wear a lot of cheap fragrances but they just don't smell cheap <laughs> like there's the big difference do you know what I mean like like, like I, I wear like 10 15 pound fragrances but they generally tend to smell pretty decent whereas this is like if I think a lot of people would be surprised at the cost of this and um, it because it, it doesn't smell like a high tier fragrance it smells like a chemically cheap I mean I don't I wouldn't even say it smells like a perfume that much. I think sometimes it smells like a chemical accident. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to leave that here because that's about the best I'm going to say about that. <laughs> um, yeah, say sorry, Victor. I love zoologist. Love your brand. Don't love this one, Celine Burrell. I do apologise. I'm sure you tried your best, but this is bad. Um, it got a lot of hype. I don't want to be too cynical, but I think that's because a lot of people got it for free. <coughs> uh, and I do think that the fragrance community, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting free bottles, but I also don't think there's anything wrong with having a little bit of integrity and if saying you don't like it, even though it's free. Um, because the only reason I say that is because this is really bad. Um, and I, and I, I would struggle to say something good about it. Um, and I realise obviously fragrance is, say, subjective, everyone is different, but I think if people were speaking with integrity about this and they smell a lot of fragrances, I, I don't think you could honestly say this is a good fragrance. I think the best you could say is it's okay um, because I think it, 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 it genuinely smells cheap um, and at £145 that ain't cheap. Um, that's probably the best I'm going to say about that. So yeah, Zora just squid. Chemical. It really is a cheap chemical car crash. Sorry. I'm as gutted as you. It's what it is, I guess. Cheers. <laughs>